inning baseball on tap from beautiful Coors Field here in the capital city of Denver Colorado tonight an intriguing matchup between the expansion era boomers and the long ball beasts and it's going to be a premier pitching matchup two of the league's beast. hardest throwers go head to head next. Pedro Martinez, a right-handed native of the Dominican Republic, will be the starter. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, when you look up the definition of rock solid for a starting pitcher, this is your kind of guy. Career ERA under three, just knows how to get it done. Controls the running game, limits the amount of damage, and more importantly, he knows how to win. And that's why it's going to be fun to watch him work in this one here today. And now, Ricky Henderson. And we are set for baseball here this evening. The 2-1 home. Swing and a liner toward the gap in left center. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. And he's going to try for three right out of the shoot tonight. And he'll get there as he kicks off the ball game with a triple. Well, talk about starting the game with a bang, boys. Yeah, Matt, there's a reason this guy is leading off tonight. He can flat out fly. As you can see here, he squares up on this thing and kicks it into high gear for a triple to start us off. To the plate now, Tony Gwynn. And it's a ball and two strikes to Tony Gwynn. Hey, I love that pitch right there. Better execution after just giving up an extra base hit. Henderson, the runner at third with no outs. Hit on the ground to third. Throw by Chipper, and there's one away. And with that, here's how the visiting expansion era boomers are lining up. Mark, what's your take on him against one of the best starters in the game? Well, Maddie, the key to hitting the course field is the fact that there's so much outfield ground for those guys to have to cover. There's a lot of base hits. Don't don't fall in love with the fact that you're going to drive the ball out of the park. That's going to happen naturally with just a good approach and a good pass at the baseball. But there's a lot of ground to cover in that outfield, which screams there are a lot of hits to be had. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. Catch will be made here. Tagging is the runner from third. And they're going to take a one nothing lead as the run comes across to score. Great job there by this power hitter. Known for driving the ball out of the ballpark. Does the job right there with the sack fly and brings the run home. Striding in is Mike Schmidt. Bases are empty here with two men out. Way outside, nearly to the backstop, two and one. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch, but if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. Now the two one. Taking hey. strike two. Two, two. Full count. Three, two. If you're at the plate right now, you have to realize who's on deck. I guarantee you something's over the heart of the plate. You have to be aggressive in the zone right here. Now the payoff pitch home. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. So now to the plate, Willie Stargell. The ball and two strikes. What a well-executed fastball right there. Down and away. 
If you're going to do any damage with that pitch, you have to think up the middle the other way. And you a swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. So they pick up a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. On now to the bottom of inning number one. The Boomers are on top, one to nothing. Nolan Ryan is the man towing the rubber for the Boomers in this one. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, Matt, this is one of the game's all-time best pitchers. Over 300 career wins, and he's been doing his thing for a long time. It'll be interesting to see if he can continue that solid work in this one today, Matt. So here is Craig Biggio. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Hard on the ground towards short. Throw on the first in time, one away. And with that, we take a look at the Long Ball Beasts starting nine. Dero, what you got on this lineup tonight? Taking a look at this lineup, they're going to have to work the count. That's the key to success right here. They have to find a way to drive this guy's pitch count up and get into that bullpen as quick as possible. At the plate now, Barry Larkin. No contact one there, and it's one and count. two. Woo -wee. That was some smoke right there. High fire right on by. Here's the one and two delivery. Fastball <laughs> laid off well below the knees. I know he missed with a fastball right there, but this guy's arsenal. You can't figure out what he's trying to do. He's got a lot of different directions he can go in right here. Three and two, full count. Payoff pitch home. And he sends it the other way toward right center. Long run for the right fielder. And this one bounds around against the wall. Around second. He's on his way to third. And he is oh. in there. Hey. Here's another look at it right here as he drives it right that between the two outfielders heading towards the right center field triple. wall. He was flying out of the box, so I think he was thinking triple all the way. By the time they get it back in, he's safely into third. At the plate, Chipper Jones. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. We're seeing a good A-B here from the three-hole hitter. If he can work a walk or pick up a hit here, he's going to put that cleanup guy in a really good position to do some damage in this first inning. Hit back up the middle. And this will be a base hit as they, too, will play the run in the first inning to tie up the ball game early. A good job of hitting right there, Bebo. Run on third, less than two outs. All you want to do is put the ball in play. He did just that. Hits a grounder right up the middle that drives it away. Yeah, took it right back to where it came from. All you're trying to do is avoid the corners. Hit something hard up the middle, whether it be on the ground or in the air. You're going to drive the runner. Now a move over to first. And he'll be back in standing up. Into the box now. Vladimir Guerrero. Pitch outside. The throw. Short hop, but they got him. Great pick and tag to catch him trying to steal. Well, it's pretty frigid out there, and I don't know the science behind it, but it seems pretty difficult to get the full speed when it's this cold. Hard to say, but maybe that had a little bit to do with that caught stealing. Now the 2-1. Swung on and missed for strike number two. This is why you pay the price of admission right here. Power on power. My money's on the pitcher. And a sinker there. Swung on and missed for out number three. So it's one run on two hits. No errors and no one left. Piazza. He'll get us started in the top of the second. Yeah. 
Ah gets him to swing at a pitch down and out of the zone. One and two. Hey, if he's going to execute that curveball, and that's the first one of the day, if he's going to execute it like that, be on the lookout for that one. That's going to be a big pitch for him today. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. High and deep down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Three balls, two strikes. Squared that one up just a little late. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off speed pitch. Again, another foul ball. Payoff pitch one more time. Another one sent foul. Next three two in the air now out to left. Carter is there and he has it for the out. Okay here's the defense for the home team and one of the main backbones for them out on the field today is the guy behind the dish. He controls the entire flow of the game manipulates a pitch and staff gets them through the game and not only that completely shuts down a running game. Stepping in now Cal Ripken. Swung on in the dirt strike three. And he makes the He's throw down. to first Ripken is retired two down now. Now with the plate is Joe Morgan to work on keeping this top of the second alive. Here comes the one two. Swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Bottom of the inning now. And in steps Big Frank. strike threw him a breaking ball that time two and two hey that's just a nice get me over curveball there to steal a strike I don't think he was looking for that one fastball swung on and missed for the first out batting good no left at the plate now is Go. Joe Carter Carter One one fouled away. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Breaking ball swung on in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Carter is retired two down now. Now at the plate, here is Bud Rodriguez. Two outs already on the K this inning, so he'll be looking to do better. Here comes the one two. Hit high and deep to right center. Junior's in pursuit. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. set to begin the third inning in this one ready with the one one pitch a ball and two strikes now two.
Here comes the one two. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Big curveball for the strikeout there. And that came after an absolute missile of a fastball. Even if you recognize the breaking ball out of the pitcher's hand, it's so hard for hitters to sit back long enough after they've seen a really good fastball. Only the best can keep their hands back on those. Standing in now, Ricky Henderson. Rolled slowly down the third baseline. But a foul ball, one and two now. One out, nobody on. Fly ball out toward left center field. Carter will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second the out of the inning. Number 19, Tony Gwynn. Into the box, Tony Gwynn. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Yeah, I understand that, Matty, but this guy's got burner wheels down the first baseline. I don't think he even concerns himself with One that. Ball, he has to put it on the ground. That's part of what makes him successful. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. -back. The 2-2. Two -two. Look out. Don't down. want to hit him there. Three and two. It's full three and two. Well, we all know he can burn on a base pass, right? But that's a little tougher to do when you've got a nice goose egg on your leg. It's tough to do like that. Three called as he can't get the bat off his shoulder. Side retired. now and at the plate will be the speedy outfielder Brady Sizemore the 2 1 and it's fouled away I think for every player for every former player that swing right there is the reason we need to extend without question want the fans to be safe and the sinking ah. fastball called strike three and that's out number one Next, it'll Pedro. be Pedro Martinez. Pedro. Now the one and one pitch. And he fouls this one off. This is on the ground over to first. Fielded cleanly. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Had to protect there with two strikes. And he just got it off the end of the bat. Not much of a problem for the infield at that point. Now to the plate, Craig Biggio. Nope. Fastball runs in tight here, and it's two and one. Two out, nobody on. Hit sharply on the ground. Oh, he makes the stop. He's out. Oh. The defense on display on this beautiful diving stop at short. More ahead from Denver right after this. out of the play Ken Griffey Jr. drove in a run with a sack fly last time up. The 1 1 home. Misses ball for the second ball. Two balls one strike. Seared down the first baseline and he'll He's take out. it to the bag himself for the out. Now back. Third base, Mike Schmidt. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Mike Schmidt. He singled first time up.
And that misses there, so he runs the count full now. That hook stayed up in the zone. You can see he struggled with that curveball early. He's trying to find that release point with his off-speed pitches. Love to see if he can find the feel for that thing moving forward. Swing and oh my! Hit him with the high into the bleachers and gone. So a solo shot here to left center field as they take the lead. It's two to one. Well, we'd be doing you a disservice if we didn't employ show track to show you that home run again. No doubt one of the most impressive long balls we've seen. That ball was screaming off the bat and the projected distance comes in at over 480 feet. Wow, that's tough to top. Into the box, Willie Stargell. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. If I'm in the box right now, I'm coming unglued. He is going to throw something over the heart of the plate. Bases are empty, one man out. Fouled off. Loses him on ball four. And I'm sure the manager is just fine with that. I mean, it's better to battle a slugger like that to the end and end up walking him than serving one up where he can really hurt you. Next, here is Mike Piazza. He flew out in his last A.B. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something. Meanwhile, now, this is hit well down that right field line. And gone for a home run. So a two-run homer down the line in right field as it's now a four-to-one ball game. Another excellent swing right there. That's multiple home runs in the same inning. Watch yourself. You're missing over the heart of the plate. In now, Cal Ripken. All even now, two and two. on the changeup and he did a good job just to make contact. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there two away. Next to dig in Joe Morgan who went down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah but it was a good changeup Matty good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. Three and one to him now. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Pretty well hit. Deep down the line in right, but that's back into the seats. Foul. Now the three and two pitch. Hit to first. He's right there. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So two home runs in the inning lead to three runs on the scoreboard. To the bottom of inning number four we go. The Boomers lead it four to one. Stepping in once again is Barry Larkin. He smacked a triple and later scored his first time around. Hey, Matty, they need to get some offense going in this one. Getting a run back in this inning, give them a little bit of confidence that they can keep up in this game. One ball, two Saw his eyes light up that time, but he swung at a bad one there. 
And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Lifted down the line and left. Henderson will get there with ease as he puts it away for round number one. Now batting, third baseman, Chipper Joe. So one down, no one aboard. And standing in now, one of the best players of the past two decades, the great Chipper Jones. Popped him up. Piazza has a play. And that's the second out of the inning. Now batting, right fielder, Vladimir Guerrero. So next to bat will be Vladimir Guerrero looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs. Uh, we'll have to leave it there as the play is made for the third out. New inning set to get underway, and that'll bring up the pitcher, Nolan Ryan. There's a strike with the breaking ball. Hey, boys, he's lucky he's getting this pitch back right here. That's normally a wipeout pitch down and away. He hung that one. It looked like he almost confused the hitter. Swing and a flare hit toward right. Biggio's got it. One away. Now back. Left here. Ricky Henderson. Up next, Ricky Henderson. He's working on a one for two game so far. Fifth inning here in a four to one ball game. Maybe a little jumpy there as he swings through the fastball. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. Just a great take by the batter. Got him to miss the breaking ball there. Ricky Henderson now goes batter. down for out Ricky number Henderson. two in the top half. Where? Now, Tony Gwynn. That's bounced foul. It's two and two. Into the windup and the pitch. Fouled away. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he takes ball three, so it's a full count now. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3-2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. Jones might try to make a play on it. Once again, a 3-2. This is hit the other way out toward left field. He's under it, and that ends the inning. So they go quietly here in this half inning. Last half of the fifth coming up. The Boomers are out in front here, four to one. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and digging in is the big time power threat, Frank Thomas. Big swing by the big hurt, but he gets nothing but big air there as he's down on strikes. So one out and nobody aboard. And up next, former World Series hero Joe Carter. He 
Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. Ball that and time. that's upstairs running the count to three and one. Boy, they've been just getting shut down right here. Then a while since they've even had a runner on. So I think it's time to start looking for ways to make some things happen. Drop a bunt, get up on the plate, something. Looking to fade his first walk. Here it comes. There's ball nope. four. That's up there. Ball four. Well, he loses him there, but that's just the first walk he's given up, along with a couple of hits. So his command has been pretty solid so far. Rodriguez. So one gone in the inning here with a runner at first and set to stand in perhaps the premier backstop of the last 20 years, the veteran Pudge Rodriguez. Here now the 2-2. And this one's in the dirt. And a heads-up play to get back to first as he wisely hadn't gotten too far from the bag. And now we'll see some action in the bullpen as the lefty starts to get loose. Three-two pitch. Lifted in the air out towards left center. On the run is Griffey. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. The batter, the center fielder, right game, size more. So a runner at first with two away, and that brings up Brady Sizemore. Carter, the runner at first with two gone. Hit the target, but this is low, two and one. Runners on the move for second. Pitch nope. inside the throw. And he'll be tagged out at second base. Trying to get into scoring position, but instead the inning is over. Another look at the throw down that results in a third out on the bases. We're back at Coors Field in just a moment. Mike Hampton takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Now Mike. Top half of the sixth about to get started. And next will be a speed thread in the form of outfielder Ken Griffey Jr. Looked like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. Two one home. Pulled toward right center field. Sizemore is there and he has it for the first down. The batter, the third baseman, Mike Schmidt. So the next to bat will be Mike Schmidt. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. 1-1. One, one. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. Sixth inning. Four to one is our score. Grounded up the first baseline. He's got it. And he'll step on first himself for the out. The first baseman. Next up is Willie Stargell. And it's two balls and a strike to pop Stargell. Well below the knees laid off on the change up there. Mike Piazza would be next. The three and one pitch. 
hard hit toward the hole. And that'll just sneak past his outstretched arm, a base hit. That's the battle, Matty. Working yourself into a 3-1 count. Not having bad. count leverage and getting ahead to a fastball. You don't get too many opportunities throughout the course of a game to have full count leverage, and he took advantage. Ready now is Mike Piazza. He gets a shot to hit here in the inning following the two-out single. Yeah, and that hit might not amount to much, but anytime you can extend an inning and give a guy with plenty of pop a chance to swing it, the outlook of an inning changes dramatically. Now the one and one pitch. Hit in the air out to left field. Carter able to track it down for the third out. So no runs on a hit here. No errors. One man left on. We'll see eight, nine, and one do up in the bottom of inning number six. It's a lead for the expansion era. Four to one. Bottom of the sixth inning now. And digging in is the outfielder, Grady Sizemore. Swing and a miss on a pitch outside. One and two now. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. Pretty textbook breaking ball for the punch out right there. Got it to bend a lot and by the time it got there it had fallen completely out of the zone. Not much you can do with that pitch. Prince Fielder will come on as a pinch hitter to try and make an impact with one away. Fielder. One out, nobody on. Inside here with the hard stuff, and it's two and one now. Fielder is one of the few true superstar hitters in the game. You're no doubt aware of it, but it doesn't matter who he's facing. He's a major league threat to hit the ball hard somewhere just about every time he steps into the box. Yeah, one of the best hitters and, and truly blessed by the gods. But I don't think people realize the amount of time and effort this guy has put into honing his craft to become one of the great hitters in our sport. A swing and a miss for out number two and a ball he had no chance of making contact with. I always like watching pitchers that no attack batter. with their Double fastballs seven. until there's a Second reason base. to start mixing it up. Right. He hasn't needed many of the oh. pitches so far on this one, and there was another good fastball for a strike out there. At the plate, Craig Biggio. And he'll come back with one in the dirt and as the count moves to two and one now. Two out, nobody on. And it's fouled away. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Now a ball hit high down the left field line, but back in amongst the spectators, foul. The next 3 2. Hit the other way out toward right field. And no trouble for him as he makes the catch to end the inning. Morris is on to pitch from now the bullpen now to start inning number yeah. seven. Over. All set for the start of the inning and stepping up as the shortstop, Cal Ripken. The one and two pitch. 
yanked the slider across that time, laid off for a ball. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. What's your take on all the strikeouts we see in the game today, Dan? That was his third tonight, and it seems we're seeing that a lot more these days. Yeah, Matt, there's been a real change in philosophy as far as hitting in baseball today. A lot of guys think now that an out is an out. A strikeout is just as good as a regular out, but we're seeing strikeouts at an alarming rate in baseball right now. We're in the seventh now. Four to one, our score to this point. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. But this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. Into the windup and the pitch. On he jumps on this one. It's high and deep to center. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. That was a tough play, so let's take another look at it with Showtrack. Seemed to get a solid read off the bat, took a good angle at it, and he covered over 100 feet to make the grab. And I'm sure he'll be getting some high fives for that one. At the plate now, Nolan Ryan popped up. Jones moving to his left. And he makes the catch to retire the side. So they breeze through this half of the inning. Stretch time coming up here in Denver. The Boomers lead it 4-1. to one. Last half of the seventh here. And coming forward now is the shortstop, Barry Larkin. The 2-2. Two -two. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Gwynn moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for out number one. Now batting third baseman, Chipper Jones. Digging in, the switch hitter, Chipper Jones, hopped into foul ground his last time up. Yeah, this one's going to upset him for a little bit. You make the pitcher work the way he did right there, and that's the end result. That one sticks with you for a while. And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. Even though we're late into this ball game, this guy's velo is still top notch. This guy's a horse. Swing and a liner. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Bases are empty, one man out. And he struck him out. Strikeout number eight now in the ball game for him. Boy, that's the best pitch in baseball right there with two strikes. That elevated fastball. Every hitter thinks that, hey, they can do something with that. But most of the time, you get the result that you saw right there. A big swing and a miss and another strikeout. Stepping in now, Vladimir Guerrero. And he fouls this one off. has to give here's the payoff pitch a swing and a ground ball to third on the starts of the first and the side is retired so they're held in check here this half of the inning eighth inning coming up the boomers are on top four to one now back to the top of the lineup stepping in Ricky Henderson Ball and mm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. Tony Gwynn waits on deck. The three and one pitch. And nope. a good take there will net him a base runner as it's ball four now to start the eighth inning. He's really struggled with his command in this game, no doubt about it. But to make things worse, he just lost one of the fastest guys in the ballpark. Next, it'll be Tony Gwynn. 
He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. Throw over to first. Just keeping him close. Eighth inning, four to one is our score. Fastball hey. called, strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. And a look there at the starter comparison, telling the story of the ball game. One guy still going and pitching well, the other one long since departed for the showers. Stepping in next, Ken Griffey Jr. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. And they pitch out here, but nothing's happening. Ball two. Two one, strike two, swinging. <laughs> Henderson, a runner at first with one gun in the inning. And a half-hearted attempt that time, but they'll say he broke the plane, and that's out number two. Fooled him just enough with that pitch now to down. get him go around according to the umpire sometimes it can be really tough for these big strong guys because once they're committed to swinging it's hard for them to slow their swings down and that appeared to be the case there the three and one pitch we got a full count. swung on and missed and that's a full count now three balls and two strikes good spot for an RBI put the ball in play with the runner in motion he could score all the way from first did well just to make contact there as he spoils off a good changeup. And the inning goes away in unceremonious fashion on a swing and a miss at a ball way outside the strike zone. set to go and here is the big hurt Frank Thomas the 1-1 one, one. Yeah. looked like he was going to wait him out see if he was going to come over the heart of the plate well news flash he is and this hitter is going to adjust his batting gloves and he better be ready in the box Here comes the one two. Lays off two and two now. Hey, every ball club has that spark plug guy and this is the guy right here. He usually ignites a lot of productive innings. Two pitches found away. Ryan into the windup. Here comes the pitch. A little tardy on that swing as it's well wide at first. Sharp ground ball to third. Throw over by Schmidt is right there for route number one. The left fielder, number 29, Joe Carter. Next to hit is Joe Carter. It was a walk in his last trip. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. Swing and a ball hit to the left side, and this is going to wind up a souvenir. He got the fastball where he wanted and just pulled off of it. 
struck him out, and he becomes the ninth strikeout victim thus far. Now to the plate, here is Fudge Rodriguez. Two away here in the eighth, and time's running out on him, Danny. Yeah, they don't have a lot of outs left to work with, so it's time for someone to make something happen if they're going to get back into this thing. Bases are empty here with two men out. And that's into the corner of foul ball and right. And he will strike him out. Ten now in the ball game, and the inning is over. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. We've played eight full. The Boomers are out in front here, four to one. All set to start the ninth in this one. And here comes the first baseman, Willie Stargell. Now the 2 1. as that misses it's three and two now well you don't see it all that often but this might be a good time for a three two change if he can locate it it's nearly impossible to hit hit in the air down the right field line oh he brought it back really nice play right there one of the things that was great about this he was able to get close to the stands get a good read on it where the fans were and tracked that one all the way into the glove. Terrific play on a ball that was definitely going to be out of play. Mike Piazza will stand in again as we flash you back here to the fourth inning. This was a two run home run that was definitely one of the big blows of the ball game to this point. Dirty, but he can't get there, and it's into center field. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in, kept his hands inside the baseball, and ripped the base hit up the middle. And if you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes, even when you make a good pitch, the ball's going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. Standing in now, Cal Ripken. Lays off the one-two changeup, and he's worked it back to two and two. Hey, he threw that pitch with a purpose to get a double play. Good job to let it go by, though, as a hitter. Never well, tempted to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. We could see the runner in motion here on a three-two count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four anyways. Gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. The three, two, one more time. Fouled away. high and that cost him ball four. I know one thing he earned that free pass right there. He was tempted with some really good pitches but he stayed disciplined and drew the walk. So now to the plate Joe Morgan flew out last time up. Piazza over at second. Ripken at first, one gone. Two 
two and one to Joe Morgan. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. Three and one now. Three ball, one strike. He's just thrashing out there right now. I don't think he knows where anything is going. The three and one pitch. And he misses again. Nope. Ball four. And that's back-to-back -back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. Oh, that's a walk that could really change the complexion of the game. With the bases loaded, if he gives up a base hit right here, it could get real ugly. Now we're going to have a conference at the home plate area, so it would appear that we'll see a double switch here. Keith Bell is in out of the bullpen now as he'll be inserted into the number six spot following the double switch. Larry Walker will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. George Brett will get the nod from his skipper to pinch hit and he'll do so in a big spot. Base is loaded, only one away. is swung on and missed a huge out there as the bases will stay loaded with two away now. I'm really impressed by that strikeout and I'll tell you why. He should have gotten a call on the pitch before and it looked like he got squeezed a little bit. In a bases loaded situation that can drive a guy nuts, drive you crazy. What I loved is he didn't let him take it out of this game. Came back with another good pitch and got the punch out. A really nice job of taking it one pitch at a time. Into the box now. Ricky Henderson swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Sizemore is there as he makes the catch and they'll tight rope out of danger as he strands the bases loaded. So they load the bases on just one hit but three men are left stranded. We'll see eight nine and one do up in the bottom of inning number nine. The Boomers lead it four to one. Dennis Eckersley is the man called on to close this one and earn a save in the night. All set for the bottom of the ninth, and that brings up Brady Sizemore. The sign now from Piazza, the 1 1. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. to third. Throw over by Schmidt is right there for route number one. It's a bullpen game for them now as we have a look at the starter's final line. He was great all night long. Superb pitching performance in this one, Matty V. Eight rock-solid innings in line for the win. Now needs some help from the bullpen. So now to the plate, Larry Walker. And he lays off the pitch down and away. Ball two. And it's fouled away. And you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. Really good pitch right there. So you're no moving the ball Double all seven. around the strike zone. And then what do you do? You come in. That's a hard pitch for any hitter to do anything with. Just really makes it difficult to get that bat head out. Into the box, Craig Biggio. Now a swing and a ground ball. This should do it. Throw on to first, and the ball game is over. Well, this one had its moments of drama and excitement. In the end, 
these guys came away with a victory and look on to the next one. A four to one finish in this evening's game. The Boomers took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. Nolan Ryan is the winning pitcher of record. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to the new website, theshow.com. Fans, our final line score. First, for the victorious visiting team, four runs on six hits, no errors. They left six men on base. For the Beasts, one run on two hits, no errors, and they left one man on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 55 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please Drive home safely.